Hi, I'm back with um, a couple of little quick projects to share. I joined a Facebook group and um, I think it's Chic, Chic Swaps from the Heart. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, um, one of the August uh, swaps was to do like a uh, use your Primer doll and then do something beachy or springy or whatever. Um, that was a little hard for me, but what I tried to do was keep the colors that my swap partner likes. She really likes um, turquoise and teal and pinks and purples, and she loves shabby chic. So I did one card which I would call more elegant than summer or beachy or anything because I didn't have any like little barbecue stamps or grill stamps or sandal stamps or anything like that. Um, so anyway, I'll go over what I came up with. This card is uh, rather large. It's about eight and a half by I think five and a half, six or six. Um, of course, it's to accommodate the big prima doll. And this paper, if you can see the shimmer in it, it's really pretty. It's um, by TPC Studio. It was in one of those $1.99 packs from um, Tuesday morning a while back. This background paper here is from a K and Company stack, and then this black cardstock is TPC Studio from yet another one of those $1.99 packs. And I don't know if you can see it, I did some distressing with black chalk ink just to uh, give it a different, you know, little look. And this is one of those um, $3.99. EK Success punches we were all finding at Marshalls and TJ Maxx a while back. Martha Stewart butterflies uh, punched out and then these little blingies are from um, the you know that wedding line from um, Hobby Lobby and they go 50% a lot and what I did is I stamped her with black ink and then I went back over her with a colored pencil just to um, and I stamped her on texture paper to give her you know like a little bit of just a different feel so hopefully you can see it and then again I went over the lines of the stamping with the uh, black colored pencil just to give it a different look try something different um, I want to get into making more cards. You might as well. You got all these supplies. And then I just made a mat and did some more of the little butterflies because I think we're supposed to leave them plain so that our partner can reuse them and gift them or whatever. Then um, I just finished this one. The stickles is still wet. Let's see. So there's a different um, Prima Girl. And I actually got out the Spectrum Noirs in the Copic. The few Copic I have. I think I only have like maybe 12. And eh, I'm still not sure about coloring with the markers. Um, I have better control, I feel, with the color pencils. But I gave it a shot. So there she is. And I paper pieced her clothing um, using the same background paper. And this is from the K & Company Aubriana stack and these are dollar bin michael's um knockoff prima flowers and i didn't like those little beaded centers they just they look like little beaded balls of i don't know what so i peel those off very carefully and i left the brown part of the center intact and then i added my own little uh purple roses to the center and i stickled them and then there's some dollar fifty bin um, green flowers and they weren't they were more of a bright green and I wanted them to kind of match the paper more so I went over them with a um, kind of like a teal colored chalk ink there's some dollar fifty Michaels string sequin bling and then ooh, I just want the pop up pop up time some recollections bling there recollections bling there the butterfly is from um, tattered angels and they come already with adhesive backing and then I stickled it so this one I feel is a little bit more summery and um, brighter and I inked the edges I don't know if you can see it ink the edges very lightly with purple chalk ink so that was those are my two cards. She's going to end up with two cards just because I made two 
trying some different things. Um, here's another one of my single layer tags and there's the Tim Holtz Umbrella Man from um, that Tuesday morning really good deal on stamps. And there's a Prima Doll and she's inked up with uh, some distress inks there in her hair. And then she's got the little B from the Studio 112 Joanne stamp set. And then there's the clock also from that stamp set. And um, there's a sentiment as well. And I just really like it. I, I thought that was kind of neat to mix Prima and Tim Holtz and, you know, mix two different concepts and see what you get. Um, and I told you guys um, the other day on my single layer cards that the little funny design was um, Jenny Bowen, but it's actually Maya Rose. Sorry about that. Just wanted to show you. And then I did a single layer scrap layout. And um, I've been reading about scrapping and visiting some blogs. And um, they say it's really important to scrap yourself, you know, for you know, for yourself and for your kids. So I did an eight and a half by 11. And what I did because I wanted to use just inks and stamping, but um, I wanted to make sure the paper would be good enough to hold the inks and the mist. So I used um, the Canson Bristol paper and it looks like this. And one side has just a little bit of tooth to it and then the other side is smooth. You probably can't see that but um it is um acid free yeah it is acid free paper and this is the extra large recycled stack which it comes 9 by 12 so you have to cut it down and it's a 95 96 pound weight so it's got a good weight to it and then on the back I just um adhered it to some more cardstock just to give it a little sturdy so this is my layout. This is me um, about probably about two years ago. It was a really nice beach day. And um, you can see my pencil lines. That was me trying to map out where I was going to put the picture. And I will give you a little tip when you do your little pencil lines. Um, don't put your inks on them because I heat set my inks and my sprays. And so now I can't erase the pencil line. But it's okay. It's me. I know who I am and there you go. Um, so anyway, there's some iridescent watercolor paints on here. There's Memento ink for the um, actual inking of the stamps. And this is a, that Beauty and All Things is one of the, um, I think these are the Itty Bitties by Unity Stamp Company. And it's, it's a really nice grade red rubber. So that's what we used and then again I used the Studio 112 Dragonfly so just to try and show you the detail of it and there's some areas where the ink ran just a little bit but it quite mixed in really well with the whole mixed media look um, there's actually some gelatos in here too uh, that I know is gelatos that's gold I just wanted you to see what you can do as far as, um, you know, scrapping or making a mini album. Just basically using um, your stamps and your ink. Um, so not so much using dimension and embellishments and all of that. Just another way to uh, use up your inks and use up your stamps. And again, um, that is a dragonfly that I just cut out from my um, previously stamped and inked cardstock. And I cut it out and made embellishments. And I don't know, that's me and that's my layout. And I don't know, I guess I'll just maybe, maybe I'll make a book of them for my kids or something. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you wish. Have a great day. Bye-bye.